What's up guys? It is a Thursday evening right now. A little bit of a rainy one too. You might be able to hear the rain hitting the roof of the carport. And I am getting set to rig some rods up for a early morning uh, fishing trip tomorrow morning. Uh, I'm gonna take, take the morning off and go do some fishing on a local river nearby. Uh, I have not been to this river since sometime last year. Uh, but I caught a really good fish there either last year. No, it was two, would have been two years ago, I think. I caught a eight pound, a eight and a half pound largemouth on a square boat in this river, which is the second biggest bass I've ever caught in my life. It's not too far away. It's got a lot of, a lot of uh, grass and uh, lily pad type uh, cover along edges in certain parts of the river. Um, there's some docks. There's a few places where there's you know, timber laydowns like uh, trees that have fallen down into the river. And there's not a lot of rock, a lot of riprap or stuff like that. But it's uh, it's early June right now. So top water is supposed to be good this time of year. And I'm just gonna rig up a bunch of stuff so that hopefully I have uh, lots of good options when I get out there on the river in the morning. All right, here we go. We got a couple frogs on down here. We got a soft body one on the end of this rod and uh, another one right here. Got a spook. And then we have an assortment of moving baits on this side. We got lipless crank, square bill, shallow crank, buzz bait, spinner bait, bladed jig or chatter bait as so they're known. And then we got uh, this is mostly all soft plastic stuff. We have one popper over here, but then I got a swim jig, fluke, um, and a couple different Texas rig style setups. So inevitably what happens when I do something like this is I end up totally changing my mind and re-rigging half the stuff that I just tied on, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, hoping it's, since it's a Friday morning, it won't be too terribly busy. Um, and be able to just kind of slow down, take my time, enjoy a, uh, a Friday morning on the river. So, see you guys in the morning.
All right, good morning everybody. Out here on the Chickahominy River. I'm out here on this, there's a big uh, bend in the river right here. It goes around the corner where I came from. And this is what I was talking about. There are lily pad fields like this and grass lines, but really a lot of lily pad fields like this all over this body of water. So, I've started off first thing with this frog. Throwing it up in there as far as I can, trying to get some bites. Nothing yet, but we'll see how it goes. Didn't get the camera out in time and my GoPro just died. But there are fish getting airborne, chasing bait all along this edge right here. There's nearly non-stop splashing of stuff, you know, hitting things on on the on the top of the water and uh, splash around doing all kinds of craziness. So hopefully we get lucky shortly. There we go. Fish in the boat. Just put on this fluke and there we go. Ah. Batteries are in scale, so eh, pound and a half maybe. He's a scorable fish. Thanks for playing, pal. Got a little one. That was about the same size, actually. Got him on. Got him on the spinner bait. Tad smaller than the last one, but still good looking fish.
that there is a solid bowfin. That's awesome. First one of these I have ever caught. Okay, that was that was super cool. I have never caught a bowfin before in my life. Uh, my buddy Josh has caught them a couple times, and I know they're out here on these rivers uh, and all this grass, but that was super cool. I thought it was a catfish when I got it close to the boat because it was rolling and pulling and fighting really hard like a catfish does, but it was just a good, solid, probably three pound bowfin. So that was super fun. I, it, I can't believe I had the drone up at the perfect time to to capture that uh, really cool angle of it. But yeah, that was super fun. Basically working, there's a weed edge. It starts way up there and it comes all the way around over here. That first one I caught on the fluke was right about there maybe. And I caught one right off that dock. And then that bowfin, you guys can't see it on camera of course, but there is, there's basically grass, you know, all right underneath the surface right here. So pulling that spinner bait right through this grass and we're actually in 10 feet of water right now, which is kind of crazy. And most of this has been in like three to five feet or so. Yeah, that was awesome. I'm having a blast. All back, safe and sound. Well, that was a uh, pretty fun trip. It would have been fun if we caught more than three fish, but I'll take it, because there's an awful lot of times that I've been fishing that I didn't catch any fish. So, three fish is better than no fish. Uh, and it was super fun to get that both in for the first, first, uh, first time ever. That was a lot of fun to catch. Um, caught all three of those fish, I think I mentioned already, in you know a couple hundred yard stretch of grass line, essentially. Uh, did some fishing on docks, some uh, like deeper water timber lay down areas as well. Um, didn't, didn't get any more bites, but it was fun for that, that 45 minutes or so, especially. All right, that's going to wrap this video up. So thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more fishing videos, hopefully. I'm gonna try to remember to take all my stuff when I go out. I don't always take my camera gear when I go out, but um, I'm gonna do my best so that 
one of these days when we have a real good day and get more than just a couple fish, we'll be able to share it with all you guys. So, thanks for watching, liking, subscribing, all that jazz. I'll see you guys on the next one.